Today we had the Achievable Dream students from SeaTac Elementary come out, uh, all of the fourth graders, and they got to go out and basically have a field journaling experience out at the Pleasure House Point property. I think that's so important that um, the kids can like mix science and creativity together and be able to draw things that they find interesting and be able to see the beautiful property that we have here because I know a lot of these kids probably have never been to this place before and it's, it's really beautiful, it has a lot of natural beauty here. It really combines creativity and the uh, scientific space which honestly aren't combined as much as I think they should be because there are a lot of artists out there who don't really focus on nature and then a lot of scientists who don't really focus on art and bringing those together is a great way to not only bring two communities together but bring the world together. I think at this age there's an openness the open mind and the willingness to learn the excitement when they walk in they're ready to go if you provide that space you provide the materials and allow them to kind of run with it, you will find that they perform and succeed and achieve on their own to meet any challenge. My favorite part was going outside once we finished the field journals. It was really cool to show the kids the parts of the world that I love. To see that wonder on their face made all the difference. I spent a lot of my junior year doing field journal work um, at the Brock Center. Um, it is one of my favorite pastimes. The Brock um, is, is great. It's totally like my happy place. Really, really good for me as someone who wasn't really into the idea of traditional high school and, you know, sitting in a classroom all day, being able to come and focus on something that means something to me and um, has an effect on the world and to be a part of something bigger than myself has been has been really amazing and I have really loved and valued all of my time here at Brock so far. Art provokes an emotional response and it can help kids see parts of the environment in a different way and help motivate them to just keep keep it in mind as they live their lives and uh, find beauty in it. The younger generation I think that their solution is through the activity and the physical act of creating, where as the older you get, you start to get caught in your mind or have a dialogue with other professionals about what the best way to approach something is. So once again, you're dealing with that confidence, which is already there, uh, and they will jump at any opportunity to perform. So. Our environment is slowly fading away. Interacting with our environment is not only a good source of mental health, but it's just fun in general, um, especially for people who like to discover things and uh, teaching them, especially sustainability and how to keep the environment alive is of incredible importance. No conversations are off limits. Finding a way to explain how the world works, because knowledge is power and um, giving these kids that chance to learn and truly like connect with the world, um, that makes all the difference. I think it's incredibly important that kids are educated and they know what's going on in the world around them because well-educated kids become well-educated adults. Once their journals are displayed here at MOCA, they can come with their families and uh, see all their work in an actual like exhibit. It's gonna help them see that something they create is valued, um, something they create and that's personal to them um, helps their community thrive.